so in this this video is about the second order effects so basically there are three second order effects one is the body effect one is the channel and modulation effect and other one is the sub threshold conduction right so first let's talk about the body effect so this according to body effect there is a change of threshold voltage with the change of voltage between the source and bulb terminal so actually every mosfet has a fixed threshold voltage but as per this body effect when there is a change of voltage between the source and the bulb terminal so the threshold voltage changes right so for normally the source and body are also the bulb terminal so source and the bulb terminal are connected directly connected to the ground uh, that is they are short circuited to the ground but if there is a voltage difference between this source and bulb terminal that is if vsb is greater than equal to 0 or vsb vs minus vb is greater than 0 in that case the threshold voltage will change now let us see how does it happen so for suppose if vs is equal to 0 and vb is less than 0 right in such case what will happen in such case this bulb terminal will attract all the positive charges leaving behind negative charges in this region and uh, this results in the increased size of depletion region this more negative charges get accumulated here this results in the this accumulated charges result in the increase of the threshold voltage this can also be explained mathematically uh, that is uh, as you can see this is the, this is the formula of VTH and this is the VSB is voltage between source and base source and bulk so as this voltage increases my VTH will also increase right so very simple to the most simple definition is the, the change of threshold voltage with the change of voltage between source and bulb terminal is what is body effect the next one is the channel length modulation so a given MOSFET operates in the various modes the most widely used mode is the saturation mode so the condition for the saturation mode is VDS should be greater than or equal to VGS minus VTH that is the voltage between drain source voltage uh, the, the voltage between the drain source terminals should be greater than or equal to gate source terminal minus the threshold voltage so when the MOSFET is not in uh, saturation so its current is given by this right where the current is depending upon VDS the drain source voltage but in the saturation condition the current is no more dependent upon the drain source voltage this happens because of the phenomena that is the channel pinch off pinch off takes place and there is a reason ID is no more dependent upon VDS in saturation condition but while the practical scenario is being considered you find that even in saturation region there is a slight variation of ID with a change of VDS so this is a saturation region because VDS is greater than VGS minus VTH in this region and in this region with the change of VDS ID is changing a slight so the actual length of channel gradually decreases with VDS so this change, is, this change happens because with the change of VDS this channel length is decreasing that is the reason ID is increasing that is what is written here so actually as the VDS changes this channel length starts to shrink and that is the reason as this L becomes small and ID becomes bigger so the actual length of channel gradually decreases with VDS that is the length of channel L is a function of VDS so this effect is what is called as channel length modulation so the chain the this point is important that the length of channel is a function of VDS so this is effect is what is known as a channel modulation so to accommodate that change so since previously this was the formula but if the channel and modulation effect is considered this is what the formula is modified like where the lambda is known as a channel and modulation coefficient so as you can see in the modified equation id is now depending upon this vds so this is the last effect this is known as a sub threshold conduction right so normally a device is said to be off when the voltage at the gate terminal is less than v vth that is threshold voltage right so if the vgs that is the gate voltage is more than threshold voltage only then there will be a, a channel formation and it will be able to conduct current but if 
the voltage at the gate is less than threshold voltage then the device will be off right but as per the step threshold condition still even after when vgs is less than vth this is finite id current which flows from the drain to source this effect is what is called as a sub threshold conduction right and again this current is exponentially related like this right so these are the three effects which are very important and most probably you will have to explain this a bit more in detail and this is mostly given long answer type